Hi, and welcome to Concussion Talk Podcast. I'm Nick Mercer. This is the first episode since the summer, well, I guess you've probably just three weeks now, a few weeks now, but it uh, feels like a long time because I've been away. But um, yeah, so it's episode 98. It's the first one since, I said, since August, since Neurovine, so since uh, mid August. And uh, I'm on now with the Senator Stockley. But first, before I introduce her more fully, or she introduces herself more fully, please, Zach, I will let my sponsors have a word now, Head Check Health. Concussion Talk Podcast is presented by Head Check Health. Head Check Health bridges the gaps in concussion care through simple, powerful technology. To our organizations like the Canadian Football League, Track Factory Racing, the Canadian Junior Hockey League, Eastern Washington University, and Volleyball Canada, who rely on Head Check Health to improve communication and optimize care. Visit headshakehealth.com for more. Okay, Cassandra, um, you, Cassandra, stop it. I was saying your name, that's your name correctly. Um, you are now the, the I'll let you, you don't fully who you are with the NLBIA. So let you fully tell who you are and, and what your position is and what you're doing and what you're going to do. Well, start with that. Start with the last okay, one. yeah. So my name is Cassandra, and I'm actually the new coordinator of programs and services with the Newfoundland and Labrador Brain Injury Association. I actually did an internship here starting in May and I continued till August and the previous coordinator, uh, Erin, actually ended up leaving her position. So uh, they offered me the position and I gladly accepted. Excellent, excellent. Yes, I, I spoke to Erin this morning and I see she's up to position with the Regional Health Authority here. And uh, Cassandra and I actually met in June. I went to the local farmer's, farmer's market to sit at the booth for the Brain Injury Association, and uh, she wasn't then. I didn't know then that she would be the director. I don't think, and uh, and then we finished it. I don't know. But then the point is, I was asking now more about your background, Andrew. So what what led you to be interested in brain injury and on this on brain really? Yeah, for sure. So I actually did a bachelor of science in psychology at Mun, and when I was doing that. I That's to take a I'm lot of Mon is only a more a more university in the plan. And so that's yes, a yes. so good, good. So yeah, I decided to take a lot of neuroscience courses because I decided that the brain was just really interesting to me. Uh, I grew up as an athlete and I had a few concussions. So I they weren't major concussions or anything, but I knew they were difficult to deal with and there wasn't really a lot of resources. I found that really just interesting and I wanted to see what else was out there. So uh, after I graduated from MUN, I ended up doing a graduate certificate at Mohawk College in brain disorders management. And that's kind of how I found this. And that is uh, Mohawk College is uh, seems to be the Newfoundland NLBA's stream of employees now the past two yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so you, you went down with Hamilton to do that or I guess you couldn't could you go to Hamilton to do that, Hamilton, to do that? Or? Yeah, no, it actually ended all up being online yeah. because of COVID. It was supposed yeah. to be in person, but we actually found out like a month before the program started that the first semester was going to be online. And then we we're just going to go from there. But it ended up being that I didn't have to leave home whatsoever because I am yeah. from here. Yeah. So, yeah, and it did it all online. And I got to stay here for my internship. And now I got a job where I did my internship, so I'm kind of living the dream right now. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I just want to leave for a few, for a few months. But uh, 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 so what sports did you play? You said you played, you grew up as an athlete, so you knew back and I playing sports. So what were they? Yeah, I actually did synchronized swimming, believe yeah. it or not, and yeah. concussions do happen there. Yeah. yeah. I, played, I played bar polo before, before a year time, but uh, I was saying I want to play bar below the green as well, which is local, the local big pool they connected to Mun. And uh, yeah, so that was a, that's not a sport work. You know, so that, the aquatic center is a place where concussion, concussions can happen very easily because I know in, as Sandra said, it happened in, in synchronized swimming and in swimming, you know, will hit balls and stuff. And then, Purple with just feet and elbows and fists and stuff. So 
It's very yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so, so you want you 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 just started this job now, or you how long have you been working at the as the uh, director? Yeah, it's only been a few days actually. This is uh, my first week, so we're getting used to things, but hopefully we'll settle in soon and get everything going. And where, where are you? Is it? So you can so people know or how to find you. People in Saint yeah. John, in front of that work, for example. So we're located on Pete Street in suite number 103. You can also find us on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and we also have a website that will give you more information for sure. Excellent, excellent. So uh, so so what about so you said you said you just started doing some brain some brain courses that, that you did you do masters in neuroscience so well, I saw? Uh no, I just did a graduate certificate in brain disorders oh, management right, right so it's kind of a different approach because there's no master's thesis or anything we do a capstone project okay. with a team and then after we end up doing a work term so we get experience in the field and that's really what i wanted i wanted to get some experience because i know that was something i was lacking from my undergrad yes so was, what was your capstone project about uh, yeah, our capstone project was actually about the effects of alcohol and substance abuse disorders in indigenous populations. Okay, so it's and the prevalence cool. of it, yeah. yeah so, so you, so yes, you're still getting used to what you'll be facing at the marriage association. What you'll be doing with what sort of issues, but um, so and I guess Aaron's left you a bunch of notes and things to catch up on. Who's doing what and what. And what's happening and what people are affected that need to be need help or what they're doing. So have you have you have you worked with many, many of these people before or many of the organizations that you may be working with? Uh yeah. So I know COVID times have definitely been yeah. difficult in the past, especially when I came in in the middle of COVID. Uh we didn't have any in-person programs and services so much per se. So I really want to try to get that back up and running. Hopefully the COVID situation calms down, restrictions ease up a bit, and it keeps going well so we can actually get to uh, interact with our clients and have those support groups and recreation groups so our clients can actually get out there instead of just being kind of holed up in their homes right now. And what events do you have? What, what are events or any sort of items you have on the docket for upcoming so we're uh, yeah. so the first thing we actually have is coming up in a few weeks it's our second annual motorcycle ride for brain injury awareness uh i wasn't here last year when they had it but i've heard that it went over really well so we're hoping that it'll be the same this year so it's on september 25th at 11 a.m and we're meeting in the old costco parking lot of stop off of stavanger drive and we're going to have a police escort and we're going to end up at the RNC headquarters. And it's just going to be a fun time for anyone who likes riding motorcycles, raising awareness. We're also going to be accepting donations, selling 50-50 tickets and pins. So just hoping to have a good time with that for sure and raise a bit of money and awareness. Excellent. And we, yeah. Yeah, we also have a few other things that we're hoping to uh, have happen in the next few months. Anything you want to share, or do you not, not know the details yet? Um, yeah, no, we're organizing our annual dinner, so stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be in November. We're hoping COVID cooperates. Yes. But uh, yeah, we're going to work out all those details and hopefully get that happening as well. Yeah, this may be a bit of a tough week to actually do this interview because you're still catching up on the catching up on a lot of stuff and and just trying to get feet get your feet underneath you. So. Uh, so yeah, um, and also I mentioned to you before the podcast that that uh, I will be that Tay and, Tay and Emily and I will be doing concussion chats podcast again. This starting we took a break in July and August, but we'll be doing that again now that McGill is back up and running. So, or you know, I don't know if I'm not sure they're back to school yet. We're doing it online, but I think they're back to school. But either way, we're doing that that uh, that discussion and those some of those meetings will be in person maybe but I don't want to speak now because I shouldn't have said anything because 
I don't know if I have to do any of those meetings to be online too as well. But uh, and so maybe Cassandra will join us for that. But uh, we just don't know what what times we're gonna do that. So that's still very up in the air. But um, so Cassandra stopped is on, and, and just so we're so just reaffirm where people can meet to kind of you and the NLBA and how they how anybody in the, across the world or can reach out to you. Yeah, so we actually have a website, uh, www.nlbia.ca, pretty easy. Um, obviously, NLBIA stands for Newfoundland and Labrador Brain Injury Association, as you previously mentioned. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. It should be NL Brain Injury Association for both. Um I believe we might have a Twitter, but I haven't gotten into that yet. So uh, stay tuned for that. The Twitter is a bit weird. I I, I, I wrote, you just tweeted yesterday, do it at, at injury.nl, which was, it used to be at NLBA, but there's some, you know, some confusion or some like, not to hacking it, but some like some sort of, you know, weird thing on Twitter, but it was similar. But now it's injury. injury and now, but Al is lowercase is weird. And anyway, um, yes, but uh, that being said, to thank Cassandra, and hopefully we'll, we'll definitely know whether or not we were able to coordinate the uh, concussion, concussion chat podcast. But by the way, I'll be contacting Cassandra later on again this year about other opportunities, opportunities, and events, and events at NLBA. And just find out more news about my local range association. So uh, thank you, Cassandra. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And please consider reviewing and rating Concussion, Concussion Talk Podcast on wherever you get your podcast. So, and New League Times on music. And uh, also, please visit www.concussiontalk.com. Concussiontalk.com for my blogs, all my all the podcasts that are posted by Concussion Talk Podcast, and a link to my ebook. So thank you so much, and I know I rambled better then, but uh, thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon, or hope you're listening again, hope you're listening again soon, I should say. So thank you. Music at the beginning of this podcast is by Ben Sound www.bensound.com